welcome back to Jones Clan back in a caravan. On this vlog we will be looking at caravan safety. Uh, primarily in this uh, part we will be looking at tyres. Uh, how to check them, inspect them, uh, maintenance on the tyres, including how to not jack up um, <laughs> a caravan um, because I attempted to do it down the storage and as you'll see in the uh, video um, it makes to read the instructions the dry the ground was dry um, but what happened it turned out to be quite sandy and it sank into the ground now what I have done is got a piece of aluminium 10mm um, plate um, which is quite light and that is about uh, 18 inches by 18 inches which I've stored in the caravan which will give it a good base to um, spread the weight around on so if you'd like to watch um, the video and I'll see you at the end um, there are some um, pictures of um, tires and such so you just have to um, watch it okay bye so as part of jacking up the caravan it is now attached to the vehicle, the uh, parking brake is on on the vehicle but not on the caravan uh, and we've got the two chocks under the wheel which I'll show you and then we shall go for the jacking up to inspect the wheels, only one side will be done at the moment um, just a, an idea of how you do it Okay. So for demonstration purposes, yes I've got the Alco hitch lock on the um, wheel, but as we're jacking up the uh, caravan, the non-jack up side, as you can see there, I've placed two chocks there to basically keep the non jacked up wheel stable uh, as the stabilizers will be lifted uh, and the hitch will be applied to the front of the caravan to stabilize it with the brake on the vehicle but not on the caravan um, because you will be rotating the wheel to inspect the tyre. So as you can see in the display the red P there meaning that the parking brake is applied. So we are now going to move the jack into position for jacking up the caravan. Place it in wind up till it meets the jack try to centre Just go in between the two prongs to centre and as we start using the handle to turn in the caravan is starting to rise.
It is dry ground underneath. Just swivel that a bit to give it a little bit more purchase on raising it. As you can see, it's just starting to raise off the floor now. Yeah, some people will say, oh, no, hydraulic jack's easier. But we're quite happy with uh, the scissor jack. As you can see, that handle does turn to give you that extra bit of leverage when jacking it up. It's not that far off now and then we'll be able to show you how to inspect the tyres and check them for damage and even with this you can jack it up and change it through 90 degrees so you don't have spots on the tyre As you can see, um, I thought the ground would have been quite um, firm, but what's happened is that the uh, the jack is sinking in. Now it does say in the instructions, um, and I thought it would have been hard enough to place it on a hard surface. So what I'll probably need to carry is a um, half inch bit of uh, ply big enough to spread the weight round to uh, lift it. You can now see there how using a bigger platform for the jack to sit on is preferable i.e. using um, half inch or three quarter ply to spread the weight you can see how the foot of the jack has sunk into the ground and I would say that's a good two or three inches so it's basically <coughs> the foot has sunk into the ground and won't allow it to jack up anymore so, even on these videos you uh, get to learn lessons. So, what would you be looking for on uh, your tyre if you are to inspect it? Uh, basically, any bulbing around this wall, cracking inside where the wall meets the tread, any cracking there. Any form of cracking on the inside of the wheel, inspect it all the way round, inside and out. Once it's jacked up, you need to be slowly rotating the wheel uh, in either direction, um, inspecting it from inside on so basically you're looking at it from there as you rotate it around either direction looking for any deformities 
within the wall or the tread and then check the outside and the inside of the tyre as you rotate it. Uh, any deformity should become quite evident as you rotate it, a bulb or something of that nature. Uh, also lightly run your hand around the tyre um, that also highlights uh, any deformities uh, within the tread um, as I will show you in a, uh, a video uh, check for cracking in the inside treads especially going around the wheel uh, any cracking then uh, you need to replace the tyre as soon as possible uh, and you'll see the results of that on, on this video Back on the theme of caravan safety, here we have a tyre which you really need to be having inspected. Um, you'll see here the cracking between the treads there, there, and there. And I shall show you what that eventually relates to. So as we move the tyre, you'll see more cracking on the tyre there. And it's starting to bulb. And then that is eventually what happens. The cracking, which you can see there, eventually turns into a blowout. And there is your steel banding there within the tyre. So this was quite a lucky you can see even more along there all down these treads so as part of a regular inspection regime especially during the winter when it's sat on a flat you need to be moving the tyre if you can jack it up rotate it and check for these types of cracks within the tyre so you can, you can see where this has deteriorated and has about 6mm on this tyre so it just doesn't happen to old tyres. You, you, you can see the, the cracking within this. So it, it has started to break up. And it's not that old a tyre, it's a 2017 tyre. Okay. Hi, welcome back. I hope that you found that uh, vlog 
interesting and informative. Um, I feel it is one of the um, items that I've put out that is fairly important because uh, it could cost lives and as per the previous vlog which is the tyre pal um, we use that in conjunction and one thing that can cause a blowout it's not totally laid down in law but under inflated tyres uh, cause uh, quite a lot of flex on the walls and treads um, so you need to make sure that these are correctly inflated and the tyre pal will display that uh, pressure to you and is a good product to uh, use in conjunction with um, the maintenance and inspection of the system. So I hope you found this informative and all you give a thumbs up if you liked it remember to subscribe please it helps the channel and it's free give the old bell a good old ring for notifications for our next vlogs and that only leaves me to say yes the vaccines turned up in the UK and they've started jabbing everyone so still stay safe it's gonna take a while for this thing to uh, be knocked on the head so from there TTFN see you soon